we have Pinot Noir. That also goes absolutely amazing. I may be chicken, but that. I'm not afraid. Let me put it that way. And the proof that I'm not a chicken is the fact that I'm hanging out with you. And actually, that we've had a lot of fun together. <laughs> and we're doing a lot of good stuff together. I agree. So, I agree. so tell me about this Always Pinot Noir. Okay, so this Pinot Noir is very special. First of all, there are not so many kosher Pinot Noir out there. Right. So that's already one thing. This is the new vintage now, of 2016. Pinot Noir is generally known as coming from Burgundy, France, right? Correct, okay. correct. And, and the uh, greatest Pinot Noirs come from Burgundy. The right? greatest Pinot Noir come from Burgundy. Right. Uh, however, there are a few regions in the world uh, from which uh, we get also some very good Pinot Noir. Uh, for instance, Oregon. Oregon is probably the best region for Pinot Noir after Burgundy. There are also good ones from California, from New Zealand. Uh, and that's because it's cooler. Right? Exactly, and, it's a and cooler Pinot climate. Noir requires a cooler climate in order for it to be better. Yeah. That's true. Right. Now, there is also something very special about this. Now, Pinot Noir. now, you chose this also for fish or poultry, as you say? Fish, poultry, poultry veal. Poultry, huh? Not poultry. poultry? Not poultry. Okay. Poultry, maybe for you. <laughs> <laughs> Not for me. All right. All right, go ahead. Okay, so have a I rinse, rinse quickly. Yeah. I, I noticed the right off the bat that uh, it's a little bit lighter than you would expect from, let's say, a Cabernet. Yeah. Is there a reason for that? There is. Uh, the skins. Of course, from I know which... all this stuff. I'm just kind of, you know, getting it out to you. Yeah, right. right. <laughs> the skins from the grapes. Okay. Uh, that's what gives the color to wine. Uh, in the case of Pinot Noir, the skins are pretty thin, uh, so there is a much less color uh, that comes from uh, from the skins into the wine. Hence, uh, the lighter color that you typically see uh, in Pinot Noir wines. So the pigment and the skins of, say, Cabernet are thicker and darker than the skins and the pigment that come out of Pinot Noir. That's correct. So another interesting fact about wow. this Pinot Noir, wow. what so a it's great made nose. by Pacifica Winery. Pacifica Winery is in the state of Washington, USA. Okay. The winemaker of Pacifica is Phil Jones from Goose Bay Winery in New Zealand. Okay. And the grapes for That's this... That's the guy with the funny ponytail, right? Exactly, yeah. yeah. We saw him a few weeks ago. Yeah, we did. He's he a good was guy. Here. He's a great guy. Uh, a few weeks ago, we, we saw Phil and I was talking uh, with him about Such a different nose. I'm going to interrupt you. I couldn't care less. This is such an interesting nose because the, the nose is so different than Cabernet mm -hmm. Merlot. It's, it's much more... I'm kind of thinking like light raspberry, you know? Yep. La uh, raspberry, uh, sour cherries. Sour cherries, not, you know, not like that sweet cherries. Sure. And you know, it's brand new, just uh, was little, bottled a, little bit of a cream, few weeks ago. A little bit of cream. Yeah, the, the, the cream and a bit of the oak because it, it was bottled very recently. So the, the aging in the oak barrels is still very, uh, very prominent on the nose. Uh, mm. But that's going to integrate also with air right now, uh, but also in the bowl wow, as time goes by. And you know what? It's got tannins on the gums. Mm -hmm. and that's why I could see, but it, it's kind of, I'm not sure this is sort of such a, a poultry, or as, as you would say, and a poultry, as I would say, uh, dish, because this is heavy. I mean, there's some tannins on here. Well, it's fuller bodied than your average uh, Pinot. Yeah. Yet I still think that uh, maybe it's because it's young, and that's why you get the tannins. Yeah, as there, that there is that. Down. But there is really high acidity. Yeah, that's true. Uh, I think it cleans the, cleans out the palate. Tur turkey would be great. Oh, dark, yeah, dark meat go. from Turkey. There you go. Or, or as my brother Parrots would make, um, chicken marsala. Mm -hmm. So you have that thick mushroomy kind of thing going on with the chicken, which is lighter. It's a lighter meat, but it's you know a thicker sauce or a richer sauce. And that combination might be good. Also, you forgot to mention this. I'm sorry. That's fine. Next time it'll be, you know, somewhere else. But no, really, you forgot to mention this. <laughs> and that is, is that Pinot Noir can and should be served a little bit cooler than other red wines, right? That's true. What I do with Pinot Noir is I put it in the refrigerator for about a half an hour, even 40 minutes before I, I drink it. it. So it's not chilled like Chardonnay mm -hmm. or like Champagne, which is really should be chilled, but it is cool. I you do know, the same. In the right. early 60s. And what do you, how's that, how much is that in centigrade in your language? In centigrade? Lower uh, 60s. Lower 60s. Uh, that's about um, 18. 18, okay. Yeah. And what's for interesting. For those of you who are watching us all over the world. <laughs> so the grapes for this wine are from Pinot Noir. The winery. 100% Pinot Noir? 100% Pinot Noir from okay. Oregon. 
Any oak on this? Any oak on this? Uh, yes. I do not know how much exactly. I believe anywhere I between smell six. Smell it, but I don't taste it. Yeah, it's between six it. to ten months. I smell a little bit, but I don't taste it. Yeah. So it's probably, you know, maybe it may not even be new oak. It might be one-year-old oak, so that the pores are already used for oak, more oakier. Mm -hmm, correct. Other reds that they used or chardonnays, etc. Now, you will also notice something very interesting on the label. It, sell, it says, bound by Herzog Wine Cellars, Oxnard, California. Oh, so they, he, doesn't, so he doesn't actually they, bottle in his winery? It, no, it was not. It, 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 it's actually the most international wine you've ever seen. Winemaker from, from, uh, from uh, Goose Bay, New Zealand. Right. Uh, the grapes are from Oregon. The wine is made at uh, Pacifica Winery in Washington and is bottled in Herzog, California. I'm confused already, <laughs> but I'm tasting it good. I love the taste. It's very interesting. It's but, very good. You know, it really is interesting that it's got mm. that, that, all that kind of stuff going on. Okay, but you know, Brenda did tell me that it's going to be in the 50s some of those nights. Yeah. So what are we going to do when it's going to be in the 50s? Well, and first of all, we're going to have one of my a, favorites. a huge rib roast. <laughs> rib roast. A monster. <laughs> okay. And with that animal... I get to pour this, right? I'm going to give you a rinse. Thank you. So this is a classic wine. I mean... Well, you know, I have to tell you, this is one of those wines. I have about a half a dozen wines that generally I can pick blind. Meaning, you close my eyes, put on a, a you know, blinders on me, and you give me the, hand me the wine, and you've seen me do it. And this is one of those, usually. When I first tasted this upon release, I thought it was something totally different. And this is a wine that I always picked. But you know why? Because this 14 is a monster. This 14 is so big. I haven't tasted it in a little bit. Uh, this is so big and so rich and so flavorful. Let's give it a whirl. And why is so, you know, I mean, I know the answer to this, but tell our, tell our uh, watchers out there, why is it that um, you need such a monster wine in cold weather? Why? Explain how that would work. So when it's cold, you're going to uh, have some uh, very oh, heavy man. dish. You need a heavy wine to, to match it. Otherwise, the meat uh, is going to be uh, overwhelming uh, with the wine, and you need something that really goes together with it in harmony. Look at the legs on this. You know, we call them legs. It's a little driplets. I don't know if you can see it on the camera. Yeah. The little driplets coming down the side of the glass. The thicker and richer and more frequent the legs are, usually the more thicker and richer the wine is in the mouth. Let's see if that's the case. I know it is because I've cheated. I've tasted this many <laughs> times before. <clears throat> you know what? I'm going to make a bird for your government on this. You know why? Because it's so good. I don't want to spit it. <laughs> I told you, I do the same. Oh, I do the same. Now, one's going to ask you, yeah, where's your lay shape? Hey, I gotta be honest, it's oh, not Sukkot yet. Yeah, don't tell anybody, <laughs> but we're, we're doing this before Sukkot, even though it's in the Sukkot. Yeah. Don't tell anybody. We don't want those people, we want them to think that we're actually sitting in the Sukkot on Sukkot, okay. right? L'chaim, thank L'chaim. you. Did you pick some really great wines today? You want a little glass. bit more? I'm not going to let you be <laughs> empty on this. No, 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 no. Herzog does it again. Joe Herleman, Mutti, California. We got a Mutti here. We got a Mutti there. Not confusing at all. Story of L'chaim. our lives. <laughs>